All right, we're here in Cass City, and we are actually at the end of day number two. We didn't want to bore you with a uh, time-lapse video today. Did a lot of explanation yesterday, but I'll turn the camera around. I'll show you what we've gotten done so, so far. So the basin's in. Uh, we excavated a little bit more, so we're going to get in five more aqua blocks. Right, Jay? Five more tomorrow? Yeah. So we're going to put five more aqua blocks in. We've got our pump vaults in. We just started excavating for our piping. So we've got two three inch lines going here. As you can see, we've got our underlayment, and our liner in. Portion of the way, we're gonna bring in some more liner tomorrow. But how we're gonna tackle this one tomorrow is we're gonna button up the, the basin down here below and we're gonna start our rock work right from the basin itself. So we're gonna work this way all the way back up. So stay tuned, real magic happened tomorrow. boulders boulders everywhere and we still don't have enough so we did place an order for with our supplier to get another load up here turn the camera around I'll show you what we got done a few minutes ago uh, on this project here in Cass City so we've got our aqua blocks in the pump vaults in we've buttoned up we've tightened all the the sides so it's all backfilled we did start placing some boulders around our basin here. Um, tomorrow morning we're going to pick out uh, which bubbling rocks we're going to have in through here. Over here we've got a manifold set up. This is uh, Javaris' handiwork. So we coached him through it a little bit, but um, he did a great job. So off the three inch we've got um, three inch and a half lines that are going to come in here. Now those might taper down to whatever size piping the boulders uh, require. Some of them might be an inch, some of them might be two inches, some of them might be only an inch and a half. So today's goal is we're going to start rocking in our stream here, get as far as we can, and then as we progress we'll add more liner at each drop, and then we've got another load of boulders coming beginning of the week. Our piping is run up the hill. My only fear is the other contractors coming in here doing wall work. Now here we did do our piping a lot deeper. So I just don't want them hitting those pipes. All right, so we got a slight dilemma. We've got another load of boulders coming on uh, beginning of the week, and um, we're gonna call it a day because it's getting to be that time. I don't want to settle for rocks that are on site when we've got another load coming on beginning of the week. So we're gonna call it a day. This is what we've got done so far. So we've got our bib liner in place here. We've got our plumbing manifold all set our piping coming in for our bubbling rock. So our bib liner does have overlap tape on it, so that way water will continue to come forward. This section in through here, from this rock to this rock, we've set the stones uh, lower, so they are smaller stones, because this is where the bridge is gonna come through. We're gonna have a small little rapid drop, just uh, playing around with a couple stones there, probably not gonna be the permanent ones. Uh, we've got some framing stones in, ones that are really going to show from, from the patio. And then uh, a couple drop stones. We'll bring in more liner beginning of the week as well. Our piping is all set. This is some of the hardest, most compact dirt that we've worked in this year. You know, it is what it is. Not, not great for backfilling material, but at the same time, um, this is going to look awesome when it's done. All right, we're here on our fifth day and final day, and you can hear the water behind me. Everything is, for the most part, buttoned up. 
now it's time for the concrete guys to come in and work their magic and make a beautiful patio then they're going to have another company come in and do some landscaping on this project without further ado let me show you what we created out here So those are the bubbling rocks that we've got. Each one has a ball valve. They're all adjusted. They're doing what they're doing. We've got a beautiful chocolate river here. This will clear up. Now this spot right in through here, this is where the pass over the bridge is gonna be. The contractor that is doing the concrete work is gonna be putting in Trex decking in here. All right, so we got multiple drops in here. This one is my favorite. Not only is it a chocolate river, but it's got a lot of sound to it. Multiple drops in here. I really love that part of it. A lot of flow coming through this one. I'll take you up to the. Let me take you up to the top. So we've got a six watt light that's in here. My hopes are that the water catches, or the light catches the water and maybe dances on the side of the building over here. Just a little effect. I would love to see some evergreen up and through here. Just as a backdrop. Beautiful plantings in through here. I've got my ideas, but. So that's a wrap on our harmless waterfall for the Hills and Dale healing garden. We hope this provides a lot of healing for not only the patients that visit this site, but for the workers here. They have a lot of stress in their life as well. So they can come out here, enjoy lunch out on a new patio. Any comments and questions on this project? Leave them down below and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. If you haven't done so, subscribe to our channel. You'll see all of our future updates on new projects and maybe even a tip or a trick here or there. Thanks for watching.